This is Retro from Retro Bassin, but you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Today I'm out here with Retro Bassin. We're going to hit some of my favorite spots and see if we can catch some daytime bass. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, here's my first catch. <laughs> Got a warm mouth on a Strike King Rage Craw. <laughs> Dude, that is a cool looking little fish, actually. Yeah, it's got a big mouth. He can go for a lure. <laughs> That's yeah. one. Live or on TV? Both. That you remember. On TV, it was probably Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant. Or maybe um, Hulk Hogan and Mr. T versus Rowdy Piper and Paul Orndorff. Ah, yes, the old WrestleMania. Mm hmm. How about in person? Um, not till I was an adult. Okay. Um,. I think I went to Raw. Okay. I think I saw a few little independent shows in Illinois, $8 to get in. I go to a lot of those now though. That's awesome. The most controversial team to hit USWO wrestling, it's Brian Turner of Booty Call, and you are watching Realistic Fishing. Bounce on over to Brian Turner's VHS Rehab for more of Booty Call. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there we go. Look at that thing. <laughs> so, wait, did he hit on top or did you just rip him up at the top? Mm, kind of, he hit on top. Okay, okay. When you're coming through those weeds, you gotta kind of be on top, or else you're just gonna get snagged. Dinky, but it's a fish number two. Yeah, I don't know if they put all these rocks here or if they're just naturally here, but I think it's for erosion resistance. Fish. That's a better one. All right, I'm going down here. Come here. All right. And an oar. All right, check him out. A nice bass. Yeah, not bad. Holding them out, long arming them. Oh, that's the Guggen pose. Nice. Yeah, it's actually about a pound and a half, maybe. See, I like that technique that you are burning that sucker. Did he hit on top? No, this okay. one actually hit it after it dove down. It's a healthy looking bass, though. Yeah. Nice. All right, fish number three. For you. Your turn. For you. Retro, let's go. For you.
I'm Tammy from Texas and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, we have left that first spot. I'm winning so far, three fish to zero. We're gonna see if Retro Bassin can get one down here at the log. There's Retro Bassin, you can see him through the trees over here. We're trying to get him on a bass over here at the log. So if we came on a Saturday, there'd be a person here, a person there, and three people up there. All those, all the spots we're gonna go to today, they'd be people. All right, we're at spot number three. This is Skeletor Park. We're still trying to get retro bassin <laughs> on a fish. Maybe over here. Let's see how it goes. So I think I'm abandoning the Berkeley power worm I'm going with something even more obscure that I can guarantee you no fish in the state of Tennessee has ever seen. The Action Lures Breathing Worm. And it's green like real success. <laughs> hey, it totally counts though. It does count. Ripping lips. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is, uh, that is a monster. Look at that. He's <laughs> trying to outdo you on the small fish of the day. I think I just did. Yeah. <laughs> look at that guy. with cheese. <laughs> well, that was literally the first cast with the new worm. Awesome. This is about a pound. Yeah. Oh man, that was like 10 pounds of hook set on four ounces of bass. I actually did make one change that you recommended too. So I've been pegging these all day long and this one I actually left unpegged. So there you go. And a ton of shit. Got him. The moment of truth. <laughs> All right. That's that. about the same size as yours, maybe. No, that's bigger. All right. I can lie to you. <laughs> that's a bluish fish. Look at that color on that guy. Yeah, not bad. That's awesome. Man. Old Hickory Special here. <laughs> here we are at spot number four, the lucky unlucky spot. Retro Bassin's in the car doing some work emails. I'm gonna head down to the water, see if I can get one while he's busy. Here we are at the lucky unlucky spot. So we're at the lucky unlucky spot. So does that mean it's like lucky for you and unlucky for me? No, it means it's lucky over there and unlucky over there. Oh. But I still catch fish on that side too. Fishing in Tennessee, there's always someone with a weed whacker or a leaf blower <laughs> in the background. Unavoidable. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> and keep it realistic. For the hell of it, I'm going to fish the lucky unlucky oh. spots where you came from. I'm going to go watch it. Okay. I don't get you on camera, man, if you all. <laughs> Fish. Oh, missed him. Did you hear him? He was on there for a moment. Oh. 
That would have been perfect. That was close, man. That was That's close. close. <laughs> well, I almost had fish number five, but it wasn't in the cards. It's almost time to try the last spot over at the club. Here we are at the club, and I'm just waiting for Retro Bassin. In the meantime, I'm going to throw this float rig with a gulp minnow and an iFish jig head, micro jig head. Let's see if we can get a bluegill or a small bass or anything like that. There's a bite. Gotta take it. Gotta take it. Like that. Fish on. Here we go. Feels like a good fight. Nice juicy bluegill here. Yes. Look at how dark it is. Nice big dark. Hey. Give me that. Nice, nice, dark, handsome bluegill here. Good size too. Once Retro Bassin gets here, we're gonna go for bass. Got him. A little bit more fight on this one. What do we have here? Nice, big, strong bluegill once again. Yes. I mean, look at this thing. That is a good looking bluegill. Hey, I'm stand two. I'm stand three. And we're two stands fishing. You're watching realistic fishing. Always keep it real. Realistic. realistic. Yeah! This time we're going with the mule minnow. We're also going to put on a tiny bit of scent. This is Procure Crawfish Super Gel. One of my favorites. Super sticky. Got that one. Good fighter. Good fighter. There we go, got that one on the mule minnow. Let's go show a retro bass and the quality of bluegill in here. Look at that thing. Pretty nice. I like the color on it. Yeah, I got three or four just like that. Nice.
Here we go. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, that's another nice one. Let's show them the blue this. girl. Oh my gosh. Look at that's a nice fish. <laughs> Pretty good. Let's get them right up in there. <laughs> This is where Retro Bassin is going to get his bigger than a quarter pounder. I'm going to break my Tennessee PB. Yes. Going with the power worm. Back to the power worm. I'm not gonna leave with the one I came with again. <laughs> you got him. Fish on. Woo. What's up, everybody? Fatboy Dan here from Fatboy Dan's Great Outdoors. Y'all already know you're watching Realistic Fishing, and just remember to always keep it realistic. <laughs> All right, get him through them sticks. Get in here. <laughs> yeah, buddy. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. Nice little bass on the old power worm. <laughs> Two fish today. Two fish. Nice little fish though. All day long. Awesome. So did he grab it, hold it, swim with it? He did. He grabbed it and started chewing on it. And luckily, as it was power worm, he didn't spit it out. Cool. Did my best to lose him, but it didn't happen. <laughs> You're going to lose the next one. Yeah, I'll lose the next one. Well, here we are after fishing five different spots today. We hit Lone Branch. We hit the Log. We hit Skeletor Park. The Lucky Unlucky Spot. And the Club. I got one more mouth and three bass. What did you get? Well, first off, I got my PB Tennessee bass, so thank you, Realistic Fishing. I burnt through some 30-year plastic and lost enough tungsten to probably buy a new Shimano Corrado reel. So thanks again, Realistic, for the tour. Till next time, keep it realistic.